We're joined now by Asha Perohit, the Ryan Coburn Scholarship recipient. Asha, good morning. Good morning. So talk to me a little bit about this scholarship and how it is helping you reach your goals. So the scholarship was started by Susan Coburn, Ryan's mother, in 2010. Ryan was a huge advocate for youth with special health care needs. He was a big voice in the community about living life to its fullest. Um, so it's a big honor to get that scholarship because, you know, it really is important to be respecting his memory when you're here at the conference as a Ryan Colburn Scholar. So basically, we're youth advocates for children with special health care needs, youth with special health care needs. Um, and we have a mentorship program, so I've been hanging out with my mentor a lot, Teresa, who was the recipient last year. And yeah, I mean, it's an amazing program. What is it allowing you to do by receiving this scholarship? Basically, it allowed me to come to the conference, which there's just no way as a graduate student I would have been able to anyways. Um, and so it's given me the experience to be here. I got here on Friday. I'm here until the end of the day on Tuesday. So I really got to experience the full conference. So talk to me a little bit about the work that you're doing. I know you're working on your degree, mm -hmm. but where are you interning and what kind of work are you trying to accomplish there? So this year I'm interning at um, South Carolina's Department of Health and Environmental Control in the Bureau of Maternal and Child Health. It's a mouthful. Um, and I've done some work with the um, Title V block grant. So obviously all the states are working on their Title V block grant this year. It's a big year. It's the five-year cycle, so everyone's doing needs assessments. So I've been working on the needs assessment with uh, the Division of Research and Planning and also within my own Division of Children's Health, doing some qualitative work with them. And that's been really special to be a part of that. Um, as a social work student, um, applying for grants is a big deal. And mm -hmm. so being able to see something this big in action is happening is great. So with what you've seen so far, what do you feel are some of the biggest challenges facing MCH right now and going forward? Well, in South Carolina, I think, um, and this is not speaking as a DHEC representative at all, right, this is a of student, um, I think that Medicaid expansion was a big deal. And so just when we're talking about access to care for women in, in their preconception healthcare stage is really important and um, really crucial to think about and maybe address at some point because even if we have prenatal coverage, we're still not looking at women before they get pregnant. And if you could change one thing in the next couple years, what would be your, your big effort? Oh, I don't even know. Yeah. I really don't. I just am ready to do work in whatever area I can do work in, like as a new professional. So, well, we wish you luck thank and you. you're well on your way. <laughs> Asha, thank you so Thanks. much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.